power cube. What could be a more efficient way to harness energy than with solar panels? Right here we have a highly maneuverable array of solar panels. It's not just about the panels you see on the screen, there's actually a bunch more. Hit the right button at the right time and the area soaking up the sun's rays more than doubles. Together, these solar panels churn out around 15 kilowatts of energy, plenty to cover a whole bunch of needs. The Ecosphere Tech Solar Panel Farm is mobile thanks to a simple design. It's all packed into a wheeled shipping container. You can hitch it to any vehicle that can handle the weight and take it wherever you need. Whether it's your backyard or another spot, this container brings free energy wherever you go. Tulip Wind Turbines Finding flowers on your property to generate free wind energy might sound unbelievable, but it's not a fantasy. In reality, there are tulip-shaped wind turbines that various companies opt for. This unique design stands out compared to traditional home wind turbines. To begin with, it's important to note that these tulip-shaped wind turbines appear to be designed for home use, boasting a significantly lower noise level compared to their traditional counterparts. Moreover, their unique design boosts energy extraction efficiency by creating a cluster effect when multiple turbines are utilized. Here's a simple example of how it works. Five compact turbines sporting blades that stand 6.6 .6 feet tall, harnessing a breeze at 20 feet per second, generating 6,000 kilowatt hours per year. Now imagine doubling the fun with 10 similar turbines. You're hitting 24,000 kilowatt hours annually. It might sound like a marketing strategy, but the turbine design is no joke. It seriously boosts their efficiency. And if that's not enough to make you think about buying a tulip for free energy, there's an interesting comparison. 10 wind turbines with this design can produce the same amount of energy as 32 typical solar panels, and they're more budget-friendly. There's still no word from turbine manufacturers on how they plan to dispose of their products. The issue with those large, old-school wind turbines is that their enormous blades usually just end up being discarded because recycling them is complicated. Fingers crossed that these man-made tulips don't cause any problems for the natural ones as they decompose. IOZ Hydro Turbine Having a river by your property and a good budget, you can set up a station to supply continuous electricity around the clock. Let's not forget why money matters here in the first place. Just think about the amount of work involved in creating this system. Shaping the land, installing equipment, it all comes with a hefty price tag. But think about the energy return you'll get in the end. You only need your cash in a nearby river for the system to kick into gear. The turbine runs on the river's current, spinning a generator that produces electricity. You'll have around 250 kilowatts of power to fuel your home year-round. That's not the limit, though. It all depends on your budget and how fast that river flows. Hydro XS Here's an option that also uses water flow to create electricity, but requires far less money and space. Meet the system from in-pipe energy. The Hydro XS requires much less effort to install simply because the system's located on the water pipes rather than the river. Electricity is generated by running water through the system, which activates a turbine that transfers the rotation force to a generator, which in turn produces the electricity. Efficiency can vary based on pipe size and water pressure. The company claims a range of 20 kilowatts to 1 megawatt. In actuality, the system you're looking at on the screen generates approximately 130,000 kilowatt hours of energy. The numbers are looking good either way, meaning the setup should pay for itself pretty fast. Plus, remember, you'll be cutting down on your electric bill. And it's not just about saving resources, people who care about the environment will appreciate it too. Hydro XS doesn't release any carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Quantum Harvest Power Systems 
Take a cue from camping lovers and consider putting together simple, portable solar power stations on your property. These systems offer great flexibility for camping or on-site setup due to their mobility. Take quantum harvest units you're seeing on your screens. They come in compact trailers that can be towed by smaller cars weighing around one ton, making them easy to transport. Beyond the convenience of easy transport, there's another standout feature that makes mobile solar stations a hit among campers and people embracing eco-friendly energy at home. A small solar system made of three flexible panels cranks out 1,260 watts, and a larger model kicks it up a notch to 1,920 watts. It might not be groundbreaking, but it's a solid efficiency for a portable device. Additionally, Additionally, it's worth noting that quantum harvest systems come with another perk. Their ability to efficiently capture solar energy is enhanced by a built-in solar tracker, eliminating the need for constant fine-tuning to optimize sunlight collection. While it's great that you can harness free energy, it's essential to remember that the device comes with a price tag. The smaller solar trailer comes at a price of $16,350, and if you choose the larger model, it'll cost you $18,971. Albini Energia Hydro Turbine the drive of certain people to maximize the resources provided by nature knows no bounds. Here's a simple illustration. Someone may go to great lengths to generate free energy on their property, despite the high upfront costs. The justification for this expense lies in the significant amount of effort required to build an entire hydroelectric plant, along with the cost of the equipment itself. On a brighter note, there's a silver lining. By investing substantial sums of money, you can tap into an almost boundless energy source that operates year-round. The generated energy will be plentiful enough to render other electricity generating methods obsolete, so it's totally understandable why some people put a fair amount of money into these water farms for making electricity. The idea is pretty neat, especially when you think about never having to worry about electricity bills again. And by creating something like this on their property, people understand that a hydroelectric plant will eventually cover its costs. Here's an idea for those looking to tap into a river's energy without breaking the bank. All it takes is creativity, resourcefulness, and the knack for finding discarded items. While you won't be saying goodbye to your electricity bill entirely, you can certainly reduce your costs. Biogas Plant if you come across such a setup on someone's land, it means the owner knows a thing or two about harnessing free energy. These structures are essentially farms that have gained popularity because they let you make the most of what's readily available, like human or animal waste if there's a farm on the property. In the first case, it's not very practical to build these structures since they're too large and the average family doesn't produce enough waste to justify using the farm. Yet if you happen to own a farm with a bunch of cows, pigs, and other animals, the station reaches its full potential. Once the the waste is inside, it begins a transformation, undergoing chemical changes that result in something exciting for renewable energy enthusiasts, biogas. This biogas can serve for cooking or be converted into electricity using specific generators. As for electricity, it can be produced in really large quantities, and this energy will be indeed free. However, achieving this requires diligent effort in consistently transferring waste to biogas farms. If you choose to automate the process, it'll simplify electricity generation, but the drawback is the financial investment needed for setting up the required infrastructure. Rainwater Collection Systems to some, water is just a means to quench thirst. However, it's essential to be mindful of the fact that tap water isn't free. That's where special systems come in handy, helping you save some dollars. Installations that make water free include several elements, rooftop fixtures for the roof of a house or other buildings on the property, a special system of pipes and storage tanks. Rainwater is collected by roof fixtures, usually made of ordinary metal or modern plastic collectors. These collectors direct the water into a network of pipes forming the drainage 
drainage system. When it comes to pipes, you have a lot of flexibility to pick what works best for your needs. You can choose between metal or plastic pipes and connect them with various add-ons like drains and different filters. Rainwater is directed through pipes into designated storage areas commonly crafted from plastic. This material is chosen for its low cost, high durability, and stability. Water tanks are available in different sizes and shapes. Of course, it's unlikely that people will completely give up using the water supply in favor of rainwater. However, using such systems to collect free water can lead to substantial savings, which is definitely a plus. Photo Bioreactor in the past, algae farms were large and could only be set up in certain places. However, with advancements from companies like Jicon, you can now cultivate diverse biomass right in your own yard. The installation is a very simple process, which doesn't require any special spaces or complicated equipment. You can either bring in pre-assembled pyramid structures with tubes or set up a frame and place tubes on it. The number of tube pyramids can vary based on your needs. After that, simply connect them to other parts of the system and you'll have a perfect spot for algae to thrive comfortably. The Jicon system prioritizes plant well-being with its unique features. It keeps units clean throughout the system operation without any downtime, while specially designed tubes shield microalgae from harmful UV radiation. Of course, algae can be grown quickly and efficiently in a system like this for a multitude of purposes, but it often becomes a source of energy. To achieve this, the system can be linked to equipment that generates biogas or other systems that produce fuel. Think algae can't be an energy source? Think again. Scientists are working on innovative systems that use algae to fuel microprocessors, and it's pretty amazing. Hydrogen Generator Let's give a big shout out to the biological engineers at KU Leuven. They've come up with an incredible gadget that can power homes using two things we always have around, sunshine and air. It's as simple as the sun providing energy to release hydrogen from the moisture in the air. The produced hydrogen serves as a great energy carrier, making storage and transportation easy. Plus, it works well as fuel for various purposes. Surprisingly, the device can generate an impressive 66 gallons of fuel every day. Some estimations suggest that a set of 20 panels could supply power and warmth for a family throughout the entire year. Estimating the cost and likelihood of mass production for such a device is difficult. Still, developing a prototype represents a great advancement for mankind, particularly for people interested in harnessing free energy. We're heading towards a hydrogen-based future once devices like this hit mass production. Some people are ahead of the curve, already living in homes powered mostly by hydrogen. Solar Hydrogen Production there's a way to produce hydrogen almost effortlessly with just two components, a solar concentrator and a device that handles the entire conversion process. The solar concentrator features a large 23-foot diameter parabolic mirror that focuses sunlight, powering the second component where moisture is transformed into hydrogen. To the average person, these transformations may seem incredible, yet the process is quite simple. When sunlight's concentrated, it breaks down water molecules, releasing hydrogen. The first prototypes with concentrators were truly remarkable. They achieved a conversion rate of 17% and power levels previously unheard of. Right now, the system only generates 2.2 pounds of hydrogen daily, which might not be sufficient, especially considering the high upfront cost of a system with a concentrator. However, down the road, it's expected to produce more, making it a viable option for households to get free fuel. Parabolic Collectors Once set up in your backyard, these simple gadgets take care of heating and purifying water effortlessly, and in certain situations, you might even say goodbye to worrying about electricity costs. 
You can receive the units either fully assembled or have them put together on site. Either way, the assembly and installation process is simple and won't pose challenges as it doesn't demand advanced equipment or a large amount of time. The device heats water through its clever design. Using a curved reflective surface, it focuses sunlight onto a tube where the liquid flows. This warmed liquid can be utilized for various purposes. These concentrators can even purify water by heating it. Another way to use the system is to generate electricity. However, this would mean investing more money since you'll need a steam generator to turn the heated liquid into steam. Also, the concentrators themselves would need to be bigger. For most people, though, just having free water heating and purification should be enough.